Bar Show, Sandra Taylor. It's hard to believe, but that's for me. That's oh. the weird thing. Would you, uh, would you like some wine? We, uh, no, thank are you. Are you sure? I'm driving. Oh, well, that's very good of you, but Paul Sorvino brought great wine, so if okay. at any point you want some, feel free. Thank you. You're on the Playboy cover, and I understand this is a bit of uh, history, right? Because you were also in Penthouse, and you're the first person to do that. Is that right? That is true, yes. <clears throat> you may go now. Okay. <laughs> your, te your testimony is over. That is true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, that is true. Any more questions? You can have a lawyer present, uh, okay. but is, that's never happened before? No. Oh, no. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's, silly. it's very weird. You're here and you're there. It's I very know. strange. Uh, you... Oh, come on. No, 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 no. You've seen it before. Not me, but you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been all around. Oh, yeah. I know. I've heard. Uh, really? Um, no. Cool. No. Uh, you realize we've done, we've talked about nothing so okay. far. Let's see if we can keep going. Okay. Uh, but this is, that is a first, right? You're in the yes. ma magazine, and uh, I'm actually, this is a first for me. I was in, Fla I'm in the same issue of Playboy as I you. I just saw that. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's, it's a big, yeah. These are the first nude pictures of me. I'm very surprised that they... No, actually, there's, you know, it's, it's, there's a, uh, there I am right there, and I'm on this page. Look at this. I can't show this to my mother. Are you allowed to show that? I guess you just did. Oh, my God. <laughs> this goes out to people, doesn't it? Oh, uh, fuck. No, uh, no, no, don't worry. They'll, like, put hexels on it or something. Okay. Or not. Who cares? We're drink. you know, uh, I've had a lot of wine. <laughs> I don't care, man. I think I can tell. I don't care. I'm showing new pictures. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and go, what? I showed new pictures on the air? Now, you, uh, but you were in a different, you had a different name I when did. you were in the uh, penthouse uh -huh. article. Is that correct? Yes, I was Sandy Corn. Sandy Corn. With a K. With a yeah. K. What's wrong with Sandy Corn? I don't know. Just some people make fun of corn, corn on the cob, corn flakes, popcorn. I don't know. I've had a joke first name for 32 <laughs> years, and well, I never <laughs> did anything about I, it. Well, the thing is, you know, when I made the transition from model to actress going from New York to Hollywood, it was a whole transition that I made, and I changed my name to go along with it, and Taylor just seemed to just go along, and it has a subliminal kind of success story behind Taylor. Because of Taylor it. Dane. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. That's the name you were all thinking about, the yeah. big 80s pop star, Taylor Dane. Mm -hmm. uh, is that weird for you? You changed your name at all? And it, you no. get, you're used to it now. You like this. Oh, totally. I mean, you know, whatever they want to call me, they can call me. I mean, I don't care. Oh, okay. Except something bad. Don't say anything bad. I wouldn't say anything bad. Okay. I'm the nicest guy in the world. All right, now let's get into the movie. Okay. Under Siege 2. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is... The first one took place on a battleship. Right. Is that right? Yes. And this one takes place where? On a train? On a really fast train going across country. So it's real action because it's always moving. And, and Steven Seagal kicks everyone to death in this movie too, right? <laughs> like in the first one. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's cool. Well, the train is hijacked by mercenaries. It's always hijacked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But they, they hijacked the train, and so is this your first, uh, this is like a big movie to be in for you, Yeah, right? this, is, this was definitely a great break for me, and, you know, meeting Stephen was a wonderful, wonderful experience, and he's a very spiritual person, and he taught me a lot. And he can kick people's noses clear through their brain, too. Absolutely. I mean, that's what I think is cool, you no, know. He's, he's the spiritual thing is good, but right. I think the fact that he can just, he can drive the cartilage in your nose up through your brain, killing you instantly. Wow. Yeah. I happen to know that. You know more than I do. Yeah, well, I'm into hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. <laughs> <laughs> Very physical guy. Uh, are you enjoying living in Los Angeles? Do you like it there? I do. I've been through every disaster that's been there. Um, I was but in the earthquake. I was in the fires. I lost my house. So it's, it's you lost your house to the mudslides? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
I never talked to anybody. I mean, it, literally, you just saw it going away? The, no, no, I was actually in Phoenix. I was filming a Miller Beer commercial, and, you know, I call home to check my messages, and I called home, and all of a sudden, I heard, like, this, <laughs> you know, this really funny sound. I thought, God, this is a funny phone. So I called the operator, and I said, you know, you have a really funny phone. She goes, well, we're talking. I said, doesn't it sound funny? She's like, no. So I called my landlady, and she said, I think you better come home. Your house is under three feet of mud. I went home everything and it wasn't just mud it was like soot you'd walk in and pull your shoes off pull your socks off it was so sad everything got ruined what do you do when your house is completely filled with mud i mean what you do move. you who do you call you just move you move isn't there someone you can call and they just have a demudifier or something it no. sucks it all up no not to this extent i mean the mud was full of the debris from the burn the fires up on the hill in topanga canyon and it was just so ugly and dirty and bleh. What the hell was that? Did you hear that? I don't know. They're Another driving. disaster while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was your house just went by. <laughs> your house just collided with our backstage. It moving. wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise you no. at all. All right. Well, Playboy is out everywhere right now. People should check this out. And I guess, uh, when's the movie coming out? The movie comes out July 14th, which is, I think, going to be really, really a blockbuster this summer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I bet so. I think so. I bet so. It's going to be big. Okay. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Sandra Taylor, everybody. We'll be right back with Peter. Not Paul. Peter. Oh.